it would have started here. Well, he scored earlier, and this was the second one. Parks just out muscling his man and stabbing it past Clark in goal. And that was the second goal for Pleasantville secondary. Well, he can kiss the badge. Would have enjoyed that. And then later, this man, Jarvis, the foul, and Atiba getting the third item for Pleasantville. Jarvis at the heart of it. Henry doing all the good work. And on a platter. And that was goal number four for Yukarapu Park getting his hat trick. And then later on, it was more skill here. Look at that. And another goal for East Mukarapu. And then Jarvis, you hear his name a lot in this broadcast, and Henry. And all the peanut butter jelly sandwiches. Yet another goal. That's Park. The hat trick for him. Confirmation. Pick score line. Five at the half. And then that happened in the second half. Beautiful goal. What a finish that was. Taylor getting his second. And then another one. DJ Khaled. And it went to Jarvis. But Pleasantville, team of Warriors, and they fought back. Look at that from distance. Oh, goodness me, the goal of the match, perhaps. And that started to show Keith Robertson. And then Williams, a second. And he thought maybe confirmation. And then later on, Williams with his second. And a third for Pleasantville. Look at the celebration as well. Then Williams, a magician. And Adams with the tapper at the far post. And they were enjoying it a lot because Simon tested face and his luck from distance. Well, you decide which was the best strike from distance. Certainly one of the favorites at this game, ending by eight goals to five. Well, let's see what the numbers say. It's going to be interesting. And in terms of shots, East Mokarapo, 20, of which 18 were on target. Pleasantville, all of their shots on target. Scored five of their seven shots. Certainly a rock and rugged contest. 9-10 in terms of fouls. Pleasantville goalkeeper, well, he's had a busy day. Clark making 10 saves. Possession, though, that belonged to East Mokarapo. And look at the score line at the top. It's the most uh, erratic scoreline. Exciting. Oh, you use your choice, superlative. 8-5, the final score. So now it's a good time to say goodbye to all of our viewers on CCN TV6 in Trinidad. And as the sun sets here in Mocha, it's time to send it down to Hans De Deans, who's standing by with our man of the match, Pops. Uh, our man of the match, Brandon Parks, scored five goals for the entire season. NGC man of the match trophy goes to you five for the entire season. And your hat trick today. How do you feel about your performance? How do you feel about the team's performance? Um, I feel very good about my performance. I've been training through um, preseason very hard for this performance. And come out on the field and show it today. Well, it looks very difficult for you all to even get the Premiership Division title. But are your goals focused now on Intercall and in what way? Um, yes, um, our goal is to focus on the intercol, to um, play as first in intercol and without intercol, and yeah. Well, all the best to you, Brandon Parks. Congratulations. Our NGC man of the match, Brent Sancho, is with another player that made an impact today. Well, thank you very much, Hans. It's uh, very unusual here at Sportsmax that we do a second, uh, of course, a mention for man of the match and uh, young Keelan Williams with his second half ex exploits have certainly deserved the opportunity to speak to us here on camera. Keelan, of course, unfortunate with the loss. Talk to us about your second half performance in particular, your two goals and assists throughout the game. Well, the first half, we was in, we was in focus and when we come off and next half, well, coach talked to us and let us concentrate and pass the ball a little more, play to the wingers and, and after we started to communicate more, second half, 
And well, when I was going to the goal, I just see the goal open and I just shoot. And I say, yeah. It was After all for you. Yeah, it was all for me. And just confidence just rise up and we start to score more. Well, we saw the confidence and of course uh, from your first goal as we just saw into your second goal where you started to take things into your own hands as a player. It just felt that if we had more time, you yeah. might have gotten back some of those goals. Tell us about that confidence. How do you take that confidence into your next fixture? Well, for a few games and things, I always tell them, I go in and take them on this B day to be for the, um, the scraps and things. I sure I'm going to score. I tell them I'm going to score. I have to score and everything can rise up. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, young Kilo. Congratulations on your performance and Thanks. all the best for the rest of the season. Of course, an uh, honourable mention to young Williams and what he's been able to produce uh, in this half uh, of football. Uh, a sparkling display by that young man. And I'm now joined by his coach, Coach Roberts. Of course, a disappointed defeat overall. A tale of two halves. Your assessment on the game? Assessment on the game was, as my player just said, they take a little while to settle. And once they settle, and as you know, we say here, confidence is everything. I just do my part to keep motivating them, to keep motivating them. At no time I be negative with them. I know they have the potential. And as I said, it's a resilient group of fellas. Although we didn't get the result we won today, I'm really proud of these guys today because the effort was so resilient. And I just had to say hats off to them today. Well, it was a good uh, second half approach, yeah. and I'm very sure you would take this performance going into your rest of your fixtures. Yes, yes. Thank you very much, Coach, and no all problem. the best to you. Thanks. Of course, uh, Coach Roberts talking about the attributes necessary and needed for his team to dig their way out of their situation. Uh, I'm now joined by the winning coach, of course, Coach Dale Saunders. Coach, it was really done and dusted in the first half. Your assessment of the game? Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm proud of my young charges. You know, we scored eight goals. That means uh, we did a fantastic job going forward. Uh, you know, we try to give some of these senior players a bit of rest to the end of the match, and yeah, we conceded. Yeah, I know. And of course, for you, it's about moving forward. Intercal coming up. Uh, of course, scoring the, the goals that you did in the first half. You must be pro going into the Intercal. I'm sure that's your focus now. Definitely. Yeah. Every game now going forward is about, you know, preparing for the Intercal. And I'm seeing a lot of improvement going forward as well. So, you know, we are preparing well. Well, all the best to you and your team moving forward. Thanks a lot. Well,